A 77 year old man reveals why he insulted President Mohamed Buhari. One of the three men arrested for insulting President Mohamed Buhari and Governor Amino Masari of Kasena State has explained why he insulted them. Lawa Abdullahi, 77, alias Izala, alongside Baha Jeji, Abu Teti, and Hamza Abubakar, 27, was arrested after he appeared in a viral video abusing his leaders. However, explaining his reasons for the outburst to reporters, 77 year old Abdullahi said he was infuriated after his relative was allegedly murdered by bandits over 15 cows. Abdullahi reportedly blamed the president and the governor for their uh, alleged neg negligence on the matter, saying the perpetrators haven't faced the law and that he hasn't been given justice. He said, I insulted them, President Buhari and Governor Masari, because I went to the village and found out that my brother has been slaughtered like a ram because of 15 cows. Coming back, I asked about the government, he told newsmen. Meanwhile, while confirming the arrest, the spokesman of the Casina State Police Command, SP Gambo Issa, had warned members of the general public that the police will not fold its arms and watch why disgruntled elements violate the sacred laws of the land. He added that any person found taking undue advantage of the social media to insult others, contrary to the provisions of the Cyber Crime Act, will face the wrath of the law. So guys, uh, if you insult somebody and people's lives are being taken or people are just being killed just like that, just like the way the man explained, which one is more dangerous? Which one is more important? If I can put it that way, which one is more important? Somebody just insulted. Somebody is angry. Somebody reacted in a manner at which he never liked based on circumstances that surrounded his insult or surrounded what, why he insulted in the first place. You are not talking about that one. The man did not even, you are not even saying, talking about why the man's uh, people or some or the brother was slaughtered the same thing that has been happening in other other places you know most of the time eh, because these people don't usually come out you don't usually see them letting people know what they feel you no know, everybody just believes or everybody just assumes or just conclude that they are the same whether they, they are not hurt whether they are not pain whether the whole thing you know, happening is not affecting them. That is the way we view them. Most people, even from the southern parts of the country, view them. But so, because it's unusual for you to have seen somebody even coming from the president's village saying all manner of things. You know, you just feel that maybe all the, all the things happening are not really hurting them or they are not feeling it. But for this man to have come out and complaining the same thing the southerners have been complaining, the same thing those. Uh, whose families have been killed because of herdsmen here and there. The governor, the government have, has not said anything. The president has not said anything. Now, the man acted based on what he felt, based on the atrocities that was committed. Now, the only thing the police can say is that anybody, that they will not fold their hands. But you can fold your hands and allow things to be happening to the people. Or you want to tell us that you don't know what has been happening in, 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 in that your state. And many, many, many of them like that would have experienced such things. But, you know, it just takes boldness for this man to have come out. Many people would must have experienced the same thing because they are not coming out to make their opinions known to the public. Just because they ask them to do, you know, to go on lockdown, majority of the people from the north are protesting. And people are asking, where are the police? Where are the soldiers? Where are the security people that are always on the on the streets in the southern part of the country that will be chasing people away, that will be killing people. But you could see the thousands of people that came out protesting. The government did not do anything. When you talk about palaces, it will go to that place. When you talk about whatever, it will go to that place, to that region. When you talk about appointment, the same thing. The president just uh, appointed uh, another uh, uh, NEMA boss 
the same region and it's as the trend has just been like that for a very long time see the division is already there the government most especially the president the division he has created is still there and he continues to create the division and you expect people to, to keep quiet and the people who are surrounded uh, who, who, who is surrounded with they will come and be making excuses see what is happening in Naso Villa see the, the shenanigans because they are not coordinated Oh, this one will say this is the spokesperson. The let the speech uh, that the president was supposed to deliver got leaked, and you know we can imagine the kind of the kind of talks that we are hearing at that level. So coming back to Casina State again, uh, you know this seventy-seven year old man. So for the man to have heard his opinion, as the policeman or the the security people did not see anything important in what the man has said, but you. You, want, you don't want to fold your hands because somebody is using social media to insult the president or the governor. Then, in this case, since they've heard about it, because they will, because I believe whether the police is just acting or crying more than the bereaved, you're just being overzealous, then does it mean the governor and the president, they've not heard about this thing? Or you want to tell us they don't know what has been happening in this country? We are dealing with COVID, corroded, we are still dealing with uh, these people that have been, that those, their problems have been on ground before now. No, you can fold your hands for people people's lives to be taken away just like that. But you, you cannot stand when somebody tries to express him or herself. You can't stand that. You see the hypocrisy. You see the hypocrisy that is happening. You see that they are the ones encouraging these people. These people who are committing these atrocities because nobody is arresting them. No law is, you know, they are not bring they are not being brought to the book with you know, with the law that we have. But Somebody will now say, I don't like what is happening. Where is the government? What have they what have they done? What have they done? What are they doing? Um, you know, you because of anger, you can say all manner of things, but the police don't cannot tolerate that. They don't just want to tolerate that. Who is deceiving who? Who is deceiving who? So it's unfortunate that the things that the police are supposed to be doing, they don't do it, but they will look at the other side when things are happening. The police are the ones that are supposed to be protecting the lives of the people because if really the police were you know doing their job as at Wendy or the way it's also, I'm sure that man wouldn't have experienced what he's experienced and, and there would be no need for him to be insulting the president and the governor because the police themselves they failed in their own duties. But you can fold your hands, let people be dying. But because somebody will say, No, I don't like what is happening. Do we really have government in this country? Do we have president? Do we have governor in this in this uh, country? Then you you get angry because of that. God will God God will really visit all these people. Someone says, leave that man alone. You can't beat a man and also told him or tell him to cry and uh, not to cry. Those that key key can key and go free. Those that express their feelings faces the law. What a country! I cry for Nigeria. That's what somebody say. Someone say yes, it's really absorbed, my dear. It's really really absorbed. Does the Constitution make a provision for freedom of speech or expression. This is a this is a military government. Do the government wants you to always talk in favor of them, even though they are not doing well? Party party government, APC government, PDP should take over 2023. Buhari and APC, you know the worst government. 99% of you insulting him today were the ones shouting, "Say Baba, say Baba." Say, Buari, keep quiet. What says the they deserve than insults? Someone say, thank God these men in question are not Igbo or Yoruba. It would have become another story. As we can see, government is blind and deaf to all atrocities committed by Fulani Esme. Please, let somebody put their hands on fire to free, to feel it. They can't see also pure cold water on them to feel the thunder for rain, the old man should be released immediately. Somebody is giving order, commanding the police release the old man immediately. Ah, uh, the man supposed to respect his age because now vote now vote Buari. Abi, Abi, I don't know what this person is talking about. What do you expect a man that lost his brother in that manner, and you expect him to be singing praises to Mr. President and Governor? No, that is what they want. Just be smiling, be suffering and smiling. That is just what they want. They don't want him to react. How do you expect him to react? But you can fold your hands. You know, the police, you know, these policemen, they can be funny at times. 
they can really be funny. You can fold your hands, people are dying. You are not even as your duty post to protect them. And that is why you are being paid. But you are you are busy looking for who is insulting Buari, who is not insulting Buari. These people, eh? Hmm. God will judge all of you. How many Fulani bandits have been arrested since they start killing alongside Boko people? Which kind of government is this? Imagine what the police is saying. Those that slaughter people like rams went, were not arrested and went score free. Why those speaking can't go score free? In short, Nigeria is a drama feed. Nigerians, why helping our leaders to fight for wrongdoing? One day is your turn to hate speech too. The ones that murdered people, the police couldn't arrest them to bring them to justice. But the man who only spoke a word was arrested. What a shameless nation and their so-called and their so-called government. Animal without conscience. In America, people throw eggs and thin on their leaders because they fade. But Niger, if you even talk, you go go J. This is incredible. Someone said, now your brother, you vote for him. This is your reward, Aboki. Now, Aboki, say, Baba, continue. Uh, someone says, uh, leaders, why must you arrest them? They express their anger and your wrongdoings, and you are arresting them. You are inhuman. With ABC government, there is no freedom of speech. Hmm. God will continue to judge all of them. Someone says, why are they are his Muslim brothers now? Use the opportunity to appoint them. You think I don't know your next plans. So guys, uh, that is just uh, what we are hearing. The man has explained the reason why he insulted the president and the police has said no, they cannot fold their hands. Watching somebody, you know, insulting the almighty president. But they can watch people go scot-free even when they have committed all manner of, of atrocities by taking other people's lives. Like people always say, posterity we judge. So guys, uh, let's hear your opinion concerning this. Because this kind of country that we are, is very, very, you know, everybody is just, just confused. Everybody is just confused with this kind of government, the way and manner at which they operate. Leave your comments below and let's have your take.